Today, I'm showing you nine powerful AI tools that will not cost you a dime. And no, these aren't stripped down freemium versions. These are fully functional AI tools that are completely free. In fact, the most powerful one and my favorite on this list actually comes from Google and most people have no idea that it exists. Well, that changes today. If you're new here, my name is Rick Mulready and for the past 11 years, I've run a multi seven figure online business and today, I help online businesses leverage AI so that they can streamline their business and become more profitable in the process. I run a school community called the AI Playbook and I will link to it in the description below if you're interested in joining us over there. The first free AI tool I wanna share with you is from Riverside.fm and there's actually two tools within Riverside that I wanna show you because they're very, very cool. Let's start with Magic Clips. So with Magic Clips, if you create any type of video content, you know how time consuming it can be to find those really good clips within your overall video content that you can then cut up and create vertical videos for social media. Well, Magic Clips automatically identifies the best segments from your video recordings and transforms them and creates them into vertical social media ready content. And once you're in the Magic Clip Studio, all you have to do is upload your file. As you can see here, it takes an MP3, WAV file or MP4, and then it will automatically do the clipping for you, creating short form vertical videos for you automatically. And again, it's totally free as you can see right here. Now I will say the one downside to this is it does have the Riverside watermark on all video in the free plan. So I would say that is one downfall of using the free plan. The second free tool inside of Riverside that I use all the time is their audio and video transcription. So if you wanna get free transcriptions, this is the way to do it. Now it is a manual process, meaning you just have to upload your own file, but it's available in a hundred plus languages. It's totally free. I've never had any issues with the accuracy of the transcription also. So you can just click on transcribe now, upload your file, and it does take a little bit of time. I will say for the longer files that I've had done, maybe if something's like an hour long, sometimes it will get hung up and I have to redo it again, but other times it works just fine. And when I have to redo it again, it works just fine. It just takes a few minutes, but hey, it's totally free. And tool number two is Google's AI Studio. This is the absolute best free AI tool right now, in my opinion, because you can access all of Google's Gemini AI models for free. And as you can see here, you can access Gemini's 2.5 Pro Experimental, 2.0 Flash, Image Generation, which we're gonna look at here in just a second, Flash Light, their Thinking Experimental model, which 2.5 Pro Experimental, by the way, is a thinking slash reasoning model. And you can also access the Learn LM 1.5 Pro Experimental, all for free, all within Google's AI Studio. So let's, for example, look at the image generation tool that Gemini just came out with. And I wanna look at a few different aspects of this. So I just typed in a random image prompt here, young entrepreneur in a coffee shop and a laptop. Let's see what it comes up with. It's very fast, by the way. All right, and this is the image that just came up with. I don't love the image. I don't know if these are like brass knuckles or something on the guy's hands, but uh, yeah, you know how fast it was and it's a pretty decent image, right? So we can cert totally work with the, uh, with the prompt itself. But check this out. I think the intuitiveness and usability within this model here is better than Photoshop. And I don't even know how to use Photoshop. I tried it before, didn't go very well, but check this out. Image editing in here, adding some chocolate drizzle to the croissants and in a matter of three and a half seconds, that's exactly what it did. And it looks really, really good. So now I've just asked it to remove chocolate drizzle from all but one croissant. Let's see what it does. And that took 4.4 seconds and boom, there it is. And with the 2.5 Pro model, you still have, depending on when you're watching this video, you still have the 1 million token uh, context window. My understanding is that there's a 2 million token context window coming with 2.5 Pro or the 2.5 models, I should say. And the other thing you can do here in Google AI Studio, and I've done a whole video about this uh, also on the channel here, is use Gemini Live with 2.0. So you can share your screen, you can talk to Gemini, you can start a real-time conversation with Gemini while you're looking at like a sales page or a P&L or whatever it might be. And the model will give you recommendations for improvements or where to make changes going forward or what have you. It's really, really cool. And again, all this is free. For the third free AI tool, this one is for all you content creators. Again, Opus Clip. Now I gotta say, when it comes to taking a long form video and getting AI to repurpose it into shorts, into vertical videos that you can put onto YouTube shorts or 
Instagram reels or whatever, or TikTok or whatever it might be, none of them are all that good. I've shown you two examples now between Opus Clip and Magic Clips from Riverside earlier. These are the two best ones that I've come across. And so Opus Clip, I've used Opus Clip for years and they have a free version, which is really, really good. So what we're looking at here on the screen is you just drop a video link in there. You can drop in um, Zoom links, you can drop in your MP4s, et cetera, and it will create the clips for you automatically. So you can see here it's curated as AI curation, animated captions, um, overlays, B-roll, et cetera. So as you can see here with Opus Clip, even if you're paying for any of these versions, it's not that expensive if you are wanting to create a lot of vertical videos that you can share on social media. So this is the free plan here. You get 60 credits per month, which is about 60 minutes of video per month, 1080p rendering, um, auto reframing, AI captions with emojis and keyword highlighter, et cetera. Now it does have uh, a watermark. I've not found it to be all that distracting. Um, it does have, you can't edit it. And after three days, the clips are no longer exportable. So you got to jump on it pretty quickly. However, if you're not creating a ton of short form content or creating a ton of long form content that you want to repurpose into short form, Opus Clip in the free version here is really, really good. And again, I've tested several AI video clipping tools over the years and Opus Clip's algorithm, I got to say, is surprisingly good at identifying those engaging moments within the long form video content. So this free tool can save you hours of editing time and also save you money from hiring an editor. For tool number four, if you struggle with calendar management like I do, like I've talked a lot about in my videos here in the channel, reclaim.ai is gonna completely transform your productivity. So this is an AI powered calendar assistant which optimizes your scheduling automatically prioritizes tasks for you. It does habit tracking for you and blocks time for you for deep work. And again, it's totally free. So as you can see here, the free version includes all the essential features like AI scheduling, tra uh, task prioritization, Google Calendar integration. And by the way, integrating with Outlook, if you're an Outlook Calendar user, it is in beta, so you can integrate it with Outlook. So this is what it looks like inside of Reclaim. I've integrated it with my Google Calendar. You can see on the left-hand side here that you can go through and create priorities. In the top right-hand corner, you can create new tasks and also set the uh, priority level, whether it's critical or low priority. And basically, as you go through and set these things up, it's using AI to prioritize the tasks that you're creating to schedule them based on the settings that you've given it on the calendar. Another feature here is called habit. So you can see here, you can create a new habit and give it a name, give it a priority level, what type of habit it is, scheduling, when you wanna schedule it, and whether you want Reclaim's AI to defend, if you will, that habit time in your calendar. The other cool thing with habits here is they have all these templates. So basically, if you wanna do a, uh, a daily walk, you can schedule that walk in your calendar, whatever time that you want it to be, or you can give it options to choose from based on the AI prioritization that it's doing in the calendar, and it will schedule the walk for you each day or based on whatever parameters that you've given it. They have something called smart one-on-ones where you can allow Reclaim to flexibly schedule your weekly one-on-one or weekly one-on-ones so that the schedules always work for you and the person that you're meeting with based on the parameters that you've given it. And as the AI learns, whatever those parameters are and what your focus time is, et cetera, it'll schedule these things for you. Same thing for smart meetings here. You can use this feature to auto schedule group meetings all by itself, which is a huge time and energy saver. Lastly, you get a scheduling link. On the free version, you get one scheduling link. So this would take care of, you don't have to pay for Calendly or Cal.com or anything like that. So you get a free scheduling link within Reclaim that you can send out to other people to schedule on your calendar. So as you can see here, I'm a big fan of Reclaim, especially because it's free. I've not needed any of the other features in the paid pricing tiers, so I'm gonna keep using the free version of this. For this next tool, you've likely heard of it, but I cannot not do a video about free AI tools that are really, really great without talking about Notebook LM. And I'm using the plus version, 
which I do pay for as part of the Google Workspace plan. However, Google's Notebook LM is totally free. So if you've not used Notebook LM before, what Notebook LM is, it's a really powerful research assistant. So what makes Notebook LM so special is its ability to analyze multiple documents at once or videos or websites. And what it does is it creates connections between all of your sources. So you can upload all different types of sources. So for example, here you can upload Google Docs or Google Slides or website links or YouTube videos or PDF or text files or Markdown or audio like MP3s, for example, or you can just simply copy and paste in text here. And so as you can see over here, I've created a notebook about agents and I've uploaded six different sources here and I can ask any questions to this information. So I could basically ask it to make connections between all the information that's in here. I can create what's called a briefing doc. So this document over here on the right-hand side here is a briefing doc of all of these six sources here. I can create an audio overview. Basically, it's a private podcast essentially of all six of these sources here. I can customize that audio overview basically and ask questions to it while it's quote live. You can choose your output language from this drop down here to a bunch of different languages. And Notebook LM is using Google's Gemini 2.0 model, which is a very, very good AI model. And again, Notebook LM, I'm using the plus version, which I do pay for, but the free version is really, really good. I've used it almost from day one when it came out and I love it. I've recorded a bunch of videos on the, on the channel here about Notebook LM. I can't say enough good things about it. If you've not used it, definitely check it out. Tool number six is called Taskade, and Taskade offers one of the most generous free AI plans that I've seen. So basically with Taskade, you can create AI agents, AI automations. It's a project management tool. You can create AI mind maps. You can create AI chats within Taskade. It's a great tool. I used it for a very long time, but then I found it to be honestly slightly overwhelming. But if you don't mind the overwhelm and you don't mind a tool that can almost do everything that you could ask for in terms of AI workflows and combining project management all into one tool, then you are gonna love Taskade. So again, you can create projects, AI agents, AI teams, you can create automations in here. Now for projects, you can come in here, start with a blank project, or you can create one with AI. So within the field here, you can type in your goal or task or whatever the next big project is that you wanna be working on. So let's just say that my project is called traffic to the AI playbook community. I'm gonna click return and it's gonna create the entire project for me. So the AI has gone ahead and created a project for me, basically with different milestones and tasks within each one of these things. Obviously I can go through here and make edits to it, but it's asking me what I wanna do next. So I wanna create the project from this, wanna continue writing, and make it longer. So let's just say I wanna create the project from that. And here's the project that it's just created for me. Pretty cool, right? It's given me tasks, give me due dates in here. It's assigned to me. It's given me little drop downs here so that I can classify different and categorize different, uh, different things here. I can chat with the project over here. But again, this is all free in the free version of Taskade. I can come up here, click on automate, and I can set up triggers and different automations for this specific uh, project. You've got AI teams here, so I can click on create AI team and I can name it, create agents, et cetera, et cetera. So as you can see, you can do a ton of things with the free version of Taskade. It's also a really good introduction on the power of what you can do with the tool like this. And so if you get into it, you're not paying for it, then you're like, oh, I want to do more of this. You can, it's very reasonably priced. It's $20 a month for the monthly option. If you do the yearly, it's $10 a month. So it's very, very reasonably priced. This next free AI tool is more of a suite of AI tools. And again, they're all free and that's Google Labs. So Google Labs, you go to labs.google and they have all what they call all their AI experiments in here that you can use totally for free. So this latest one here that they're showing is data science agent in collab. So it's an autonomous code agent performing any data analysis task in uh, Google collab. Scroll through here and you can look at the different, uh, so daily listen, career dreamer, what's the other one here, uh, AI mood, AI mode, a new search experiment that uses advanced reasoning and thinking to answer even your toughest questions. So you can go to learn more, um, and it's only not uh, available to me on this account right here because this is my Google Workspace account, by the way. So if you just go to your personal Gmail account, you can totally use it for free. So then as you scroll through here, you can see all their different um, free tools by category, create, learn, develop, uh, play. Some of the ones I really like are the ImageFX 
and also the uh, video FX. So let's just say, for example, I want to go into image FX and this is Imogen. So you can come up here to the drop down here. They have video FX, music FX, DJ. And again, you can create images like this all for free. All you have to do is sign in with Google. And again, if it doesn't work with your Google Workspace, um, Gmail account or Google account, I should say, just sign in with a personal Gmail account and then you'll have access to all these amazing free tools. Free tool number eight is called Pickaxe. And Pickaxe solves the problem of, hey, I built this GPT inside of ChatGPT and I want to share it with people. I wanna charge people for it. I wanna make people opt in to use it, but yet you can't embed or you can, but you have to be pretty technical to know how to embed a GPT into a page. Pickaxe solves that problem. And as you can see here, Pickaxe is a simple no-code platform to build, launch, and sell AI products. I absolutely love Pickaxe. So when I go to create a new Pickaxe, I have three different options here, form, chat, and automatic AI builder. Let's choose the automatic AI builder. And it just guides you through whatever it is that you wanna create. So I'm just gonna click on yes. It's gonna ask me some questions. So first question is what type of tool do you wanna build and what people do with it? I wanna build a customer prompt generator for people similar to a GPT. All right, now it's asking for the my intended user. So I have a shortcut for my target audience. I'm just gonna do that. Then it's asking me what my uni unique take on it is. I'm just making this up right now. It creates really effective prompts to get great results from AI models, ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini. It's not really a unique take on it, but let's see what it does with it. And it just wrote the prompt to use in the back end of this uh, customer prompt generator tool. I'm just gonna click, I'm just gonna type in yes to what it wrote. And here it is, it just created my customer prompt generator. It gives me this nice little dashboard here. I can design things. I can create a knowledge base for uh, everything in here. So let's go check out what this thing looks like. And here it is. I can totally share this with people now and I can put this behind a paywall. I can put this behind an opt-in and let's test it out. So I've just typed in, can you help me write a prompt? It says, of course, love to help you write a prompt, get started. Can you please share uh, these three questions and then it'll write the prompt for me. And I just created this literally in a couple minutes. Now I can share a link to that page. If I wanna send people there, I can embed that page I just created it. And again, I can design it however I want. Pickaxe is a great tool. And as you can see here, I've just used one credit out of 50 monthly credits that you get here on the free plan. You can build your own AI studio, just like we just did. Create limitless pickaxes. You can view user responses, which I think is a really cool feature of pickaxe here. You can embed the pickaxes anywhere. So the free version is really, really capable. If you think that this is gonna be something that you're gonna use a lot, then totally you're gonna to wanna to go up to a paid version. For the final free AI tool of the video here, it's called Fathom Video. If you are not using Fathom on your Zoom calls, your Google Meets, your Microsoft Teams calls, you're missing out. I currently use the paid version of Fathom, but I use the free version for probably a year and a half and it's awesome. It'll record your calls, it'll transcribe your calls all for free. It'll summarize it, it'll make specific highlights of your calls for you. You can clip certain pieces of your calls all within Fathom and it's all free. So this is an example of a call summary page and the video is up here. You can download the video. You have your AI summary here of your key takeaways, topics discussed and next steps, which is really, really cool. You've got AI generated action items that you can go over here and send directly to any of these integrated tools if you want to. And the other cool thing here, in addition to the transcript, is I love the Ask Fathom feature. So like if I have a question that I'm like, what do we talk about during that call? I can come in here and I can do Ask Fathom and I can say, uh, what did we discuss? about Google Tag Manager. I just type in a simple question and it will give me the overview from what we discussed in that call. And it also give me different timestamps. So if I wanna jump to those specific sections in the video, it's right here. And as you can see here on their pricing plan, they integrate with Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams. The only caveat to the free plan is you are limited to the AI summaries like the page I just showed you to your first five calls of the month. So if you do a lot of calls every month, you're gonna wanna upgrade to probably the premium plan or maybe the team edition. But if you don't do a lot of calls and you want a great transcriber and AI note taker for your calls, 
Fathom's free version is awesome. So there you have it, nine free AI tools that are totally great. I'll link to them in the description below, also linked below the video here. If you wanna join us inside my AI playbook community over on School, this is for online entrepreneurs looking to leverage AI to become more efficient, more streamlined, and increase profitability using AI in your business. I wanna invite you to join us. I've linked the community in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.